Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Let's give all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone, who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole flicks scattered abroad. It's going to be a quick video showing you that um, down here in Tampa, we had a, uh, they had a game a couple, um, a couple, what was it, last week? So lucky for all that. It was a game last week, and um, it was the Tampa Bay Bucks versus the 49ers. And, um, you know, during this game, they had people swear in, you know, pretty much the Navy swearing in, you know, to go fight in war, which we are coming into war. Okay, war times. You had uh, a lot of articles coming out about, um, you know, the most recent one I saw, one of the brothers posted was, you know, you, uh, a, a Russia shot down a U.S. missile. All right, so things are heating up, but let's play this video real quick and grab some more others and we'll grab a few precepts. Now, as you see that score right there, the 49ers is winning 10 to 3. Ultimately, the 49ers won this game, but the Buccaneers, they're the ones that, um, you know, hosted this event. Where they were swearing in, you know, U.S. Um, uh, uh, military, new U.S. Um, uh, 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 military into the army, okay, or the navy or whatever division they went to, they were getting sworn in on the field, all right. And they make this a big glamorous thing, you know. They tell you, you do the recruiters tell you, oh yeah, we're not going to war, you can join and get all these benefits, but really, all these people that's being sworn in are going to end up being destroyed, okay. That's the truth of the matter, and the Lord is about to do it. In the most gruesome way, we're coming into World War Three, and this guy Biden, he's making moves to to, to start this war off. just marching you into a meat grinder okay because that's what the you know the um you know all this war is about it's about you know sending people over there to die and you don't come back man you know and which you know the, the elites they, they they fund both sides of the wars okay all that's all it is is a meat grinder people go in there and don't come back out and if they do come out they don't come out the same now, this is another video. One of the brothers in the camp, actually, his sister was out there. She, you know, got sworn in to fight. Just turned 18, you know, just got sworn in. And she's about to go over there and fight. And the brother tried to warn her, and that's not wise. Don't do it, don't do it. But people want to do what they want to do. And nine times out of ten, she ain't going to make it, man. Okay? Because you people that, you know, Scribber says, they that join hand unto hand, um, though they though hand join in hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. So you, so, so you jump, you know, jump, jumping in the front of this man's judgment is going to get a lot of people destroyed as well. Let's play it. At the Raymond James Stadium, getting ready with all our future sailors, our future airmen, our future soldiers, our future Marines. We are all here getting ready for our. Salute to service and listen to ceremony during halftime at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus San Francisco 49ers game. So if you can watch that game today and shout out to the Navy, we really appreciate it. That's, hey, everybody. That's, that's 38, right? She's new. She wasn't a part of it. How you doing, Tech Miami? Hey, they also listen here. Uh, at a Bucs game for Veterans Day weekend. Just decided to see the Bucs win. Go Bucs. Just decided to see the Bucs win and the Bucs actually lost that game. All right, so that should tell you something, man. All right, but all you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians, who are the true children of Israel that's joining the fight into this man's war, you're going to die over there. You're not going to come back. You ain't coming back in a box with, with, with a folded flag. You're going to be topsoil, okay? This is not the time to join the white man's war. If you've seen the movie um, Boys in the Hood, you know, um, you know, you had, um, I forgot his name, something, uh, uh, Fishman or something like that. But, you know, the father, he told he told he told his son, there is no place for a so-called black man in a white man's war. These ain't warriors, man. 
Look at this. These ain't warriors. All right, these people ain't warriors. Oh, look at this guy. You think he think he's ready to be a warrior? No, man. And Jake just want to be on TV. Okay? Let me speed it up a little bit because I ain't got time to be. But, yeah. Look at this. You know, they got women, they got women in, in the military. Pretty up to the She's over. What, what station are you at? Fort Myers. And what do you do over there? I'm the recruiter in charge over there. All right. So for the Fort Myers area. Come see me. Hi. Like, like, look like there's more women out there than anything. Okay. But all these individuals are trying to go out there to fight in the war. They're, they're, they just, you know, signed their lives over. Because they, they think they're going to get all these benefits and this, that, and the third. But really, you're going over there to die. All right. I'm gonna, we're going to tell it to you flat. And you see this woman right here. This is a woman, okay, talk, you know, talking about the military. So let's, so let's see what this individual right here had to say about it. I got another video. Let's play this. Spending, and right. you want to have growth, what you got to do is make the government more efficient. This is what's got to happen. I'm straight up just saying we should not have women in combat roles. It hasn't made us more effective, hasn't made us more lethal, has made fighting more complicated. We've all served with women, and they're great. Mm -hmm. um, it just our institutions don't have to incentivize that in places where traditionally not traditionally over human history uh, men in those positions are, are more capable leader of the free world. all right let's go to this there you go you've seen that like women in combat no why not um i love women service members who contribute amazingly uh because everything about men and women serving together makes the situation more complicated uh and complication in combat Mm -hmm. means casualties are worse. Donald Trump has announced that he's nominating Fox News host Pete Hegseth so to go. serve as Secretary and, of Defense. And, and this individual wants to get... Uh, like women in combat. No. Uh, women, I, I, you know, out of combat. But as you've seen, all those women that got sworn in. All right? So I got something else right here. This is uh, Sweden, Finland warns residents to be ready for war. The situation is serious. It says Sweden and Finland have all begun warning their residents to prepare for the possibility of war as Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine rages on. Stockholm on Monday published its latest version of In Case of Crisis or War, a pamphlet instructing civilians on how to prepare for and ride out a national crisis that, la that was last sent out in 2020 2018. So that's the point, you know, they're telling you that we're going to war, okay? Sweden, a NATO member, has warned of a worsening situation in Ukraine. Yeah, and the situation is worsening, you know? As this guy Trump's supposed to be getting in office, he might not make it there before we end up going to war, all right? So, hey, man, this is just a, a, a it should be an eye-opener of the times that we are in. All right, let's grab a few scriptures real quick before I got to go. Just jumping right to the point, it says, um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. It's like, but the end is not yet. So, hey, we're hearing of these rumors of wars, you know, different things happening around the world, you know, on the world stage. That's going to lead to more wars, Okay. And uh, so you Jake that's signing up for this military, you you ain't coming back, man. OK, because America is going is, is going to get uh, 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 betrayed by its allies and they're all going to turn against America. It says verse six and you will hear of wars and threats of wars, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. So we're hearing of these particular uh, threats of wars and rumors of wars. Which is going to lead to ultimately war. But, you know, hey, this is just the beginning. It says nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. So there's more, war, you know, more birth pains coming. All these are the beginning of sorrows. More sorrows are coming. So the men of the Lord has warned you, you, you Israelites to repent and come back to you. How about Shem Shai? So that you can, Lord willing, you know, be saved. But majority of our people, they're going to be destroyed. It says. Um, beautiful. Let's go right here. It says, Joel chapter three, verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake you 
wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. So that's what we're seeing. These nations are getting prepared for war, you know, and here in America, they're swearing in women. That was it was majority majority women out there. OK, or at least a great number. And those women and there is no place for a woman in combat. There is no place for a woman in a war. OK, that's why, you know, a four time, you know, the woman stayed home and the men went out to fight. But you put in women, uh, women in war, then a lot of these men, too, they, 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 they want to be women. Let me grab that, too. They have forborn to fight um, because that's not a place for a woman. So that shows you how this war is going to go already. It says beat your plowshares, your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. So now these weak countries who were once, you know, uh, you know, minuscule on the uh, frame of war. Now they have nuclear missiles, which this third world world's war is going to be fought with, nu with thermonuclear missiles, man. So now they, they're not investing into, you know, things for agriculture and, you know, forward in their society. They're investing in weapons for war. It says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. They're the cause thy mighty wants to come down. O Yahweh, let the heathen be wakened and come down and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So they're going to gather over there into that, uh, you know, Eastern Asia, which they, they call the Middle East. They're going to get gather over there into that region just to be destroyed. OK, just to be destroyed, man. All these nations are going to gather over there to fight. Lord is going to crack the sky and destroy them. It says, put ye in a sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full the fats overflow for the wickedness is great for their wickedness is great now in that video i just showed you to that last one i might have to i mean i could probably go back to it real quick all right but um he said pretty much was describing how um why not um, is this one yeah, he's going to talk about how cause they, cause they got on and into off the, the air uh the pentagon is in, in, in the book the exact so he's going to talk about how uh, these, you know, other nations can shoot nukes at their, um, their, th their ship carriers, which is where, you know, the Navy and, and blow them up in, in a matter of, uh, 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 of minutes. We're showing you that this war, like I said, hey, hey, hey man, it's a, it's, it's pretty much a suicide mission. Many years, but in the past X number of years, 10, 12, 15, uh, the Pentagon has a perfect record in all of its war games against China. We lose every time mm. inside the Pentagon war games. We know what our real capability. You see, we didn't even get to this part of the war on warriors. I mean, the military industrial complex, the way we procure weapon systems, um, you know, we're, we're always, the way our system works, the way our bureaucratic system works, where the speed of weapons procurement works, we're always a decade behind in fighting the last war. Whereas China, there, we have a, we have, you know, what did Rumsfeld say? You go to the war of the army you have. Uh, we have the army. China's building an army specifically dedicated to defeating the United States of America. That is, mm -hmm. that is their strategic outset. Take hypersonic missiles. So if our whole, if our, our whole power projection platform is aircraft carriers and the ability to project power that way strategically around the globe. And yeah, we have a nuclear triad and all of that, but a big part of it. And if, you know, 15 hypersonic missiles can take out our 10 aircraft carriers in the first 20 minutes of a conflict. What does that look like? Yeah. I mean, and and when they're, if they've already got us by the balls economically, uh, which you pointed out very well uh, with, with our grid, culturally. The so he so he said some good things right here. But um, he, you know, what he mentioned was that it was aircraft carriers, which is with, 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 with the, the Navy. OK, they can get taken out in 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes, the whole the whole the whole war is over. All right. Well, sure, this war is going to last much longer, man. The Lord is going to speed this thing up. It says multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord. Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. So these nations are all going to gather out. And the scripture says the least of the flock shall draw them out. So these small hats, they're, you know, uh, causing more problems over there, which is going to bring cause America to have to have to go out there and fight more. All right. Let me go over here and NOT. Let's grab us an NOT as well. I'll close up this right here. So just a quick one in the spirit, man. All right, because we see these things playing out in the earth and we know what it leads up to because we have these scriptures. Everybody else, they're lost and confused. They don't really understand what's happening, but we understand what's happening because the Lord has opened our eyes to the times that we're in. 
World War Three is imminent and it's going to be the death of America. OK, let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 30. It says Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 30, it says the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might have failed. They become as women. They have burdened. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. You see. So it says the mighty uh, men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They don't want to fight. They, they think about TikTok dances. They thinking about, you know, changing their gender. Then you got you got you said they become as women, but you got actual uh, you know uh, women out there. And some of these militaries they don't allow their women to go fight, man. You know if you see China, you know their military is straight men <laughs> of military aged. Not not now they're going to up the, the the age limit on the draft. They're going to have old men and women out there. You seen that woman that was in that in that video that I just showed you? She had gray hairs. She had the salt and pepper going on, so she was you know an older woman. And, he, and these people, they're not going there to fight. They're going there for the benefits. They're going there to to get a new damn Camaro, and they're going to find, you know, they ain't going to find what they was looking for. It says, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 30, her mightiest warriors, warriors no longer fight. They stay in their barracks, their courage gone. They have become like women. The invaders have burned the houses and burned down the city gates. So, you know, before, you know, in the, in, 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 the, in the wars of old, a Esau would be out there lying about their age so they can go and fight, man. You know, these, these devils had courage. But now, now they're weak, you know, they, they, and, and they don't want to fight. You know, they don't want to fight. They don't want to go over there and uh, die for their country, man. All right. Which go to show you that this this country is through, you know, because all, all America had what, 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 what was its bite. America had a strong military, which that was his bite. But now that dog is, is losing that bite, which is going to mean what? That these uh, other nations are going to see America as weak and turn against America. And ultimately, America is going to be destroyed. Repent and seek your help by Shemel Shai for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.